Hey everyone, Helen here. Welcome to my yoga YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more free yoga. Today we're just going to be doing a good morning yoga. I have a bedtime yoga to help you unwind and relax before bed. So this is just going to be the opposite of that. Going to help you wake up, add a little movement to your body. Just a very quick flow to help you get en you energized and ready for your day. Um, you may want two blocks. And with that, we'll get started so that you can have the best day ever. Get right into it. You're going to tuck your toes and sit your hips back onto your heels. It's a deep stretch in the bottom of the foot it can be very uncomfortable if you have to lift the hips off the heels so be it but do your best to try to sit here close your eyes and just get centered starting your day off right maybe making an intention for your day breathing in and out through the nose Let's inhale, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers and press the palms up to the sky. Exhale, press the palms forward around the spine. Inhale, reach up, take a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, press the hands forward around the spine. Again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, pressing and rounding the spine. Inhale up. And this time, side bend over to the right. So bring your right hand down to the floor, reach up and over with your left arm, gaze towards your left fingers, lengthening down the left side of the body. Inhale, interlace the fingers, reach the arms back up, and exhale to the other side. Left hand comes down, reach through your right fingers, gaze towards the sky, lengthen down the right side. Bring both arms back down and let's come forward to hands and knees. Starting off with some cat cow, inhale, dropping the belly, arching the back, lifting the heart. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin to chest, press the floor away. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round. Close your eyes, continue nice and slow at your own breath, waking up your spine, bringing movement in protracting and retracting the shoulders let's find a neutral spine inhale reach the right arm up to the sky exhale thread the needle slide the right arm under and through right palm faces the sky right temple to the floor reaching through your left fingers any variation here that's part of your practice just really tucking that right shoulder underneath trying to gaze up towards your left armpit staying with your breath and unwind that, reach your right arm up to the sky, plant it back down to table, inhale, the left arm reaches up, exhale, slide it under and through, left palm faces the sky, left temple to the floor, reach through your right arm and twist, gazing under your right armpit. Stay with your breaths in and out through the nose. Let's unwind that, reach your left arm back up to the sky, exhale, set it back down. We'll tuck the toes and lift the hips up and back and come into our first downward facing dog of the day. So just start to pedal out the feet, bend the right leg, press the left heel towards the floor, then bend the left leg, press the right heel towards the floor, move back and forth here a few times or any other movements that help you get comfortable in your first downward facing dog fingers spread wide you're pressing the floor away and lifting the hips high really lengthening through your spine and then slowly walking your feet to your hands to the front of the mat let's inhale and find a flat back hands to shins thighs or floor exhale fold release Inhale, lengthen the spine, straight spine. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. 
Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Step your left foot all the way back. Drop the left knee to the floor. Point the toes. Right knee is over right ankle. Inhale, reach your arms up. Low lunge, Anjanayasana. Ready for the day here. Reaching up, rising up. And then sweeping the arms behind your back, interlacing the fingers and pulling your knuckles down the back of your leg, opening up your heart a little bit, maybe gazing up. And then reaching your arms back up, slowly bringing them to the floor, starting to straighten your right leg half splits. You can have your hands on blocks here if you need. You're pressing down through your right heel, just beginning to wake up your right hamstring in the back of your right leg. Bend back into your right leg. Plant your hands. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Other side, step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Lower the knee down. Point the toes. Left knee over ankle and reach your arms up. Low lunge. Maybe dropping into the hips a little bit. Opening up your psoas and your hip flexors. Interlacing your hands behind your back, dragging your knuckles down your back leg, opening your heart, maybe gazing up. Reaching your arms all the way back up and planting your hands to the floor, starting to straighten your left leg half splits. Drawing your left hip back and pressing down through your left heel. Option for blocks. Hamstring stretches are big ones, especially right in the morning. That will wake you right up. And then bending into your left leg, planting your hand, step your right foot forward, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Put a little bend in the legs, grab hold of opposite elbows, let go of the head, sway a little side to side. And then release the elbows. Keep your head heavy, roll up one vertebrae at a time all the way up to standing. We'll start with sun salutation A. Inhale, arms reach around and up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back to lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga yoga push up, elbows squeeze in. Point your toes and inhale to your back bend. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Breathing here, pressing the floor away, lifting your hips high. Your hands are like a second set of feet. At the end of an exhale, you'll come high on the toes, gaze forward at the hands, step, hop, or walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way around and up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Arms cut back down to mountain pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale through your vinyasa. So that chaturanga yoga push up. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to your down dog. Raise your right leg in the air, three-legged dog. Open up the hip, bend the knee, and just start to bring some movement into the leg. Maybe you wanna make some circles with the knee. Maybe you just wanna move it around. There's no right or wrong way. Just start to wake up your hip, and then straighten your right leg back out. Exhale, step the foot all the way between the hands. Come up onto the fingertips and rise all the way up to your high lunge, high crescent. You're balancing on the ball of your left foot. Stay strong. Open up into a T-twist. Reach behind you with your right hand and gaze back towards your right hand. You can stay just like this, or you can bring your right hand to your low back or your leg, reaching up and back with your left arm. It's a little bit of a side bend, a little bit of a twist. Come back up to your high crescent lunge and open up to a warrior two. Right heel in line with left arch, gaze over your right middle finger, bending into your right leg. Make sure the knee is tracking to the right. Your right palm to the sky, reach up and back, reverse warrior, lengthen through your right side. Option to take a half bind with your left hand, wrapping around your low back and grabbing your right thigh. 
come back to warrior two and we'll come to side angle. So right forearm to right thigh, or you can bring your right hand inside of the foot to mat or block or outside of the foot. Either way, you're reaching up and over with your left arm. There's a long line of energy down the left side of your body, really energy in your left fingertips, gazing towards the sky, breathing here, waking up. Come back up to warrior two and cartwheel the hands to the floor, go through your vinyasa or go right to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, you'll reach your left leg up to the sky, open up your hips, bend the knee, let the heel fall towards the glute and take whatever movements here feel good, circles or just any movements getting into your left hip, reaching the left leg up and stepping it through. Make sure the knee's over the ankle. When you're ready, rise up high lunge, balancing on the ball of your right foot and hugging your thighs towards the midline, breathing, and then opening to a T-twist, reaching behind you with your left arm, gazing towards your left fingers. Staying like this, or bringing your left hand to the low back or leg, reaching up and back with your right arm. Side bend and twist. Reach back up to your high lunge, and open up to warrior two. Left heel in line with right arch, bend into your left leg and gaze over your left middle finger. Deep bend in your left leg. Flip your left palm, reach back, reverse warrior. Lengthen down the left side of your body, option for that half bind, reaching around your low back and hooking your left thigh with your right fingers. Come back to warrior two. Left forearm to left thigh, reach up and over, long line of energy down the left side of the body. Again, option to have your forearm to your thigh or your hand inside or outside of the foot. Make sure you're bending into the left leg and you're opening your heart towards the sky. Come all the way back up to warrior two. Cartwheel the hands, vinyasa or downward facing dog. We'll meet in our down dog, whichever route you take to get there. Just make sure that you are breathing Let's drop the knees and come to a child's pose. You can have your knees together or apart, but your big toes touch, hips heavy to the heels, head falls towards the floor. Breathing here, in and out through the nose. And then let's come up. You're gonna come high onto your knees. Start with the toes tucked. Don't worry, we're not doing that thing we did in the beginning. You're sitting tall here. We're gonna come into camel pose, a heart opener, back bend. Hands come to the small of your back, your lower back. You can have your fingers pointing up towards your head or down, whatever's more comfortable. Press your hips forward and activate through the thighs. Option to stay here, or you can reach back and grab your heels. Keep pressing your hips forward. You can let your head drop back. Option to point your toes here if you want a little bit more. Wherever you are, you're breathing. It can be difficult to breathe in your back bends. Your heart rate might start to speed up. Just really focus on the breath. Bring your hands back up to your sacrum and come out of it by sitting down towards the heels, point the toes, just relax and just uh, seated position on your knees for a moment. And then crawl your hands forward back to child's pose. Just taking a moment to reset the spine and reset the body. Let's come up and sit over to one side. Bring your legs forward straight out in front of you. The legs are together. Feet are flexed. We're gonna take an active seated forward fold. So keep your feet flexed, reach your arms up, create length in the spine. Fold forward, keeping that length. 
So try not to round your spine. This might mean you don't get as far forward. You might be very far away from your feet. That's fine. Just keep reaching forward through the crown of the head, heart reaching towards your feet, breathing in and out through your nose. So this targets the hamstrings more than the spine when we keep our back long and straight. Just another breath here. And then sit up, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, plant the hands behind you with the fingers pointing towards you. Lift your hips up. You can either have the legs straight here or you can bend the legs. So it's either a reverse plank or reverse table pose. It's a little bit easier with your legs bent. Just keep lifting your hips towards the sky and slowly lower back down. Let's come all the way onto our backs for our last set of back bends. Sliding your feet towards your glutes. We'll start with bridge pose. Lift up your hips. Option to interlace your hands underneath you, rocking the shoulders underneath to get a little bit more height, pressing down through the pinky side of the hands and lifting your hips high. Press down through all four corners of the feet and breathe. Slowly begin to lower down, pause for a moment. And then we'll take another back bend of your choice. You can do bridge pose, which we just did, or full wheel pose, planting your hands by your ears and pressing all the way up. Wheel pose is a little bit more intermediate, so do what you can. It's not about the pose, it's about getting the benefit, about opening the heart, stretching the spine, just waking up. Slowly lower back down. And windshield wiper the legs left and right. So just let them sway side to side. And then bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. Rock a little side to side. Massage out your low back. Bring your arms out into a T. And let your legs drop to the right. Turn your head towards the left. Relax your left shoulder into the floor. Breathing into this spinal twist. And bring your knees back to center. We'll switch, so let the legs drop to the left and turn your head to the right. Relaxing your right shoulder down towards the floor, closing your eyes. bring your knees back to center give yourself a hug one last time we're just going to take a very brief shavasana to neutralize the spine i don't want you to get sleepy again so straighten out the legs feet fall open palms face the sky close the eyes reset here reground come back to that intention that you set And start to wiggle the fingers and the toes, bring movement back into the body. Reach your arms up overhead, and then bend your knees into your chest, roll to your right side, pausing in fetal pose for a moment, resting your right ear on your right arm. Keep your eyes closed when you're ready, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And this is where we'll stay for a minute, sitting tall, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears any comfortable hand position just noticing how you feel after that quick practice we'll be here for about a minute and just silent meditation
And then let's join our palms together in prayer at our chest. Thank you all so much for starting your day off with me. I hope it's a great one. For more free yoga videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Namaste. I'll see you soon, yogis.